Um, I can't believe it's been three months. It's been six. I'm so sorry. Joe? Who the fuck is this? Oh, uh, this is um, Rachel. I feel like I mentioned her to you before. She's, um... She's, um, what? She's the girl that I had sex with while you were at the dentist. While I was honoring my commitment to oral hygiene, is nothing sacred? I am not doing this. Miss, I couldn't help but overhear what just happened. Did you want some potato salad? Girl, I am not that sad. Women supporting other women is so important. That's why I'd like to publicly apologize to all the girls whose boyfriends I've hooked up with in the past. Never husbands, though. Marriage is a sacred fake thing. My name is Mary Beth Barone, and the current dating climate makes you want to scream into a dark closet. So I created Drag His Ass, a rehabilitation program where I work with fuckboys to rid them of their toxic habits. It's like an exorcism, but worse. Let's get to work. Someone named Marie reached out to me asking for advice on what to do about the woman she's dating. As a former accomplice to cheating, I knew just what to do. Being a fuckboy does not discriminate against gender, sexuality, or religious affiliation, though it disproportionately affects Catholics. I'm now joined by E and Marie. Why don't you tell me how you and E first met? Well, we were both enrolled in this grad school program together. Due to COVID, we had to meet online. And so I saw her in my Zoom class. I shot my shot from there. When did you guys take it from online to offline? We just hung out and talked in her car. Just in case one of you had it, then you'd both get it. Yes. Yeah. Much. That's kind of a good way to lock it down, actually. Yeah. What's the current relationship status? Committed? I don't know, shit. Okay, let me try that one more time. <laughs> we're focused on one person right now, so I think we're a little bit more than just dating. I guess I would say, like, exclusive. Are you asking me? <laughs> I would say that's what it is. Because I could tell you what I think. <laughs> Some might call that a relationship. Really? I've never been in one. Yeah, that's okay. the thing, and I've always been in one, so. And every time you're in one, I mean, you step out. Literally my entire life, somebody's trying to lock me down. Okay, so you're really the victim here. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying I'm Yeah, she is saying that. I'm just saying she's not innocent either. What was that you mumbled? Huh? Yeah, say it louder. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit louder. She's not innocent either. That, okay, hold on. My nose is sweating because I'm about to start saying some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's unpack that. She's been in a relationship, but not a real one. She doesn't count them. Okay. E. Have you cheated on Marie yet? No. <laughs> Came out with the fire. <laughs> no. No. You haven't? No. Okay. When do you usually get the itch? I'm a rugby player, so I travel a lot. And it's just always somebody really, really attractive that's really, really interested in me, like out of all the people. So it kind of just happens. I'm hearing like, a lot of this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want you to feel attacked, but I'm fully on Marie's side. Absolutely. I see it. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Would you say that in the near future, you'd like to figure out what this is? I don't like to answer questions like that because I really like to go with the flow. Got it tatted. You said you have go with the flow tatted on your arm? We got tattoos. You got tattoos <laughs> together? <laughs> I forgot. Don't show mine. It says go with the flow. I'm gonna ask each of you to answer separately. Do you identify as a fuckboy? No, I don't. I'm a recovering fuckboy. I don't think I still am, but recovering for sure. I can tell that you both really care about each other and your situation gives me a lot of hope. But obviously, given E's past, I worry. I wanna make sure there's not a shred of doubt in your mind before you move forward in the relationship. Are you ready to change your ways? Yeah, I think Why so. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. Get serious, it's not the circus. <laughs> Maybe there is one clown in here. Yikes. I think I'm looking at her. Walked right into that. Yeah, you did. Clearly, E wasn't understanding the gravity of the situation. So I called an expert to help get this class clown to do her homework. Liz Plank, author, journalist, writer of a book about toxic masculinity. Thank you so much for hopping on with me. I have a very difficult case. I'm excited to hear it. Would you say that you've done a fair amount of research on cheating? I have. I'm wondering if you can tell us where does cheating come from? What motivates cheaters? In my view, um, there's two reasons why you cheat in a relationship. You're either looking for a reason to get out of a relationship or you're looking for a reason to stay in the relationship. So I was very interested when this case came across my desk because it is female on female crime. It's a lesbian couple and one half of the couple is an admitted, self-professed cheater. Over the last 30 years, women have been 40% more likely to uh, cheat uh, than they used to. I don't know if it's a sign of necessarily like 
where we want to go with our empowerment as women. We're moving toward equality one gap at a time. Yes. And maybe we're starting with the ones that don't matter. <laughs> Knowing that E is a self-described cheater, do you think E is helpable? I think that everyone is helpable. There's no one that's irredeemable. I think the remedy for cheating is over communicating. It's kind of like oral sex in a relationship, like you can't overdo it. There's science and data and facts on this. I have uh, looked at all of it and it is uh, unanimous. It's clear. <laughs> When we have a cheater who's coming to us and saying, I want help, I need to learn self-control, what is a strategy we can use to help her do that? I love exposure therapy. She needs to prove to herself that she can actually resist these impulses. Put temptation in their face and see what they do. Yeah, they, they will survive. Not cheating is as simple as wanting to do something and choosing to not do it. That's something you've never experienced. So we've hired various strong and independent women to come out here and distract you. Each time your heart rate increases, you get a strike. And the strike system is totally arbitrary, but let's just say we'll know if you fail. If you fail this test, we will know for sure that you're not worthy of Marie's love and that you're irredeemable in the eyes of God, who's also a woman. Yikes. Are you ready to begin? Yes. I'm ready. Hi, I'm Allie. I'll be your server tonight. Would you like to go home with me right now? No. Moose each other's bushes, maybe? Mm -hmm. A date. Thank you. Thank you. She was nice. It was very straightforward. This is the Cap Franc. Excellent choice. Bright acidity, juicy finish, just like me, actually. Cheers. Hey, ladies, here's your entree. Oh, I'm so sorry. I get so clumsy when I'm wet, you know? No problem. And if you don't like this, I'm also on the menu. You look, you look nervous or something. I don't know what's hey, going on. Hey, just checking in over here. And you know, yes, I am a waitress, but the song WAP was actually written about me. Oh, and my wet-ass pussy. Oh. You good over there? I don't Hey, so it's my friend's birthday party tonight. She's a model for a clothing line that doesn't believe in body positivity. Do you want to go with me? I'll get back to you. Yeah. Think about it. You want to get back to me? I should have said no. Just, that's just real disrespectful. No body positivity. <laughs> it's hot. I bet it is. Oh, oh, wow. You weren't hungry, huh? You were waiting for me? Oh. Just want to let you know that I'm a 32 double D. I can talk about anything. I don't like to talk much. And my asshole is waxed. My body is actually the template for mannequin molds. Huh? In case you're wondering, I taste like strawberries. I see you guys like your coffee dark, right? I come really easily just seeing you. I'm into gangbangs. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Did you consider? That was a test. In the test. E, we were watching from the booth and you obviously failed. Okay. Before we let you back out into the wild, which legally we have to do, we're gonna have to have you agree to a few things. Okay. Please place your right hand over this picture of Lena Waithe and Cynthia Erivo. Okay, I got that. Uh. I, e, I, E, will resist the temptation to fornicate outside of my relationship. I will resist the temptation to fornicate. Feels like you're not taking this seriously. I'm, I'm trying, okay. I care about Marie. And I do not want to do anything to hurt her. If I do, against all better advice, cheat on Marie. <laughs> I promise to write a spoken word poem and perform it publicly. I've done the research, and I know that performing spoken word poetry about something is the only way to get people to stop doing it. Do you understand? Yeah. This is serious. Amen. Amen. Marie, after all you've seen and heard, how do you feel about this? Well, I've given it some thought, and I just want to thank all her exes for handing her over to a real one. And um, she has a lot of lessons to learn, but I'm going to make sure she learns those with me. Got this? Yeah. Okay. I actually have to close up, so. We reached out to E to see if she's changed her ways since we met her. I'm happy to report that she and Marie are in a committed, monogamous relationship. She's also unhinged, though, so feel free to hit her up to learn more about her journey.